Um, this is Alon, and he is going to tell you about an interesting bit of wisdom he gained over this summer. So, one thing, a little English proverb I've always tried to apply to my life, but have never really actually done so at all, is think before you act. And you'd think that's kind of self-explanatory, you know, possibly think things through before you just go and do them, but sometimes it's a little harder than you think. Now, this summer, I was in my house, I was just chilling. All my friends were off at like camps or something, so I was like just, you know, just chilling in my house. And my cats were going crazy. They're just like going crazy. They've got two cats, and they're running everywhere, jumping on furniture and stuff. And I was just like, cats, why are you going crazy? And my cats looked at me and they're like, oh, there's a chipmunk. And there was a freaking chipmunk just running through my house. So I was just like, okay, there's a chipmunk in my house. My cats are about to maul this thing to pieces. It's just going to be strewn everywhere. And then I'm going to have to clean that up, which means I'm not going to be able to be lazy, which that totally you know, ruins my plans for everything for the rest of the day, because I have no plans. And then I have plans. So, so I'm like, okay, i got to get rid of this chipmunk. So I was like, I'm just going to grab it. And the chipmunk's like running, he's like sprinting away from my cats that are chasing him. And I'm just like, and I reach down and I actually just, just literally pick up this chipmunk. And it never occurred to me that I was actually going to just like reach down and pick up this chipmunk. Like, who just catches a chipmunk? So I stand there, I literally, I literally stood there for at least 30 seconds, just looking at this chipmunk in my hand and like, how did I just catch you? And those 30 seconds, during those 30 seconds, I didn't really think about you know, Lon, if you were a chipmunk and you just got picked up by a skyscraper, what would you do? And if I had thought about that, I would have been like, well, I probably would have played dead because it's a skyscraper. But no, chipmunks decide, hey, bite skyscraper. <laughs> so for that 30 seconds I was holding it, it was just like like tearing into my hands, just tearing. And, I, and then like, it, it, it actually, and I didn't even notice. I was still just like, I caught a chipmunk? <laughs> oh my gosh. And then, and then there was like actually blood like dripping down my oh, arm. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I probably should get rid of this chipmunk really soon. So um, that's like when it dawned on me. And I was like, door, door. But there's nobody there. I was just saying door, like randomly, like my cats are supposed to go and open my door or something. <laughs> so I run to my door, I open it, I set the chipmunk down. And then I was so depressed because I watched this chipmunk. He was still like terrified of mine, you know. He just got chased by cats, picked up by a skyscraper. Like he's like, what's going on? I put him down on my back porch. He goes, he sprints and just jumps, just jumps off my back porch. He's like 25 feet in the air. And I was like, chipmunk, if you just killed yourself, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> I never really found out if he did or not. <laughs> At that point, I was like, mm, you know, whatever. So close the door. I go over to my sink. I wash out this, you know, nasty cut I've got all over my hand now. And, um, like, my, my dad calls, like, just randomly he calls. And I was like, well, perfect timing. And so I answered. And he was like, hey, what's up? And I was like, oh, not much. I just got bit by a chipmunk. <laughs> and I was like, uh, what? And I was like, I, the cats were chasing the chipmunk. And I was like, he's going to get mauled. And so I picked him up. And then he mauled my hand. And like, more of the cats were ever going to maul him. And then he committed suicide. My dad's like, <laughs> Well, you know, you should probably have thought about that before you just picked up the chipmunk. <laughs> and that's when I stood there for my, like, I was like, you know, I probably should have thought about that before I picked up that chipmunk. So, what I want to leave you today with my ridiculous antique story is think about things before you pick up chipmunks. <laughs>